The Bachelor's Chris Sewell's arrested after deadly crash, everything we know. Chris Sewell's has found himself on the wrong side of the law. As information surrounding The Bachelor star's arrest continues to unfold, we're breaking down the must-know details about the accident that left one man dead and Sewell's charged with a felony. The Iowa State Patrol confirmed to E! News that Sewell's was driving a pickup truck that rear-ended Kenneth Mosier's tractor trailer on Monday evening at 8.20 p.m., causing both vehicles to enter west and eastern facing ditches, respectively. The 35-year-old left the scene prior to law enforcement arrival, and was later arrested 15 miles away at his Arlington home. Mosier was taken to a nearby hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Sewell's appeared in court early Tuesday morning where he was charged with leaving the scene of a fatal car accident. He was released after posting $10,000 bail, and according to authorities, the cause of the accident is still under investigation. Sewell's spokesperson released a statement to E! News on his behalf shortly after, which read, Chris Sewell's was involved in an accident Monday evening, April 24, in a rural part of Iowa near his home. He was devastated to learn that Kenneth Mosier, the other person in the accident, passed away. His thoughts and prayers and with Mr. Mosier's family. And despite the Buchanan Sheriff's Department looking into whether or not the reality star was intoxicated at the time of the collision, his previous legal scandals haven't simmered the rampant speculation. E. News can confirm Sewell's was arrested in 2005 for operating while intoxicated, his native Iowa's version of a DUI after which he was fined $500, given a 60-day jail sentence, a 58-day suspended jail sentence and a year of probation. Four years prior, he was charged on two separate occasions as a minor in possession of alcohol. Additionally, Sewell's has an extensive history of speeding and traffic violations dating back to 1998. Between then and 2009, Chris was pulled over six different times for speed-related violations, as well as running a stop sign and an unlawful use of his license. Legal expert Troy Sladen explained to E! News some of the possible ramifications he could face if investigators confirm alcohol played a factor in the accident. If he was 0.08 or higher blood alcohol content, or so impaired by alcohol that the alcohol was the cause of the accident, then it's a whole other can of worms for him, Sladen said. It's a worse penalty. He's facing more potential punishment and greater consequences if there was alcohol involved. To make his situation even more serious, Sladen told us that Sewell's criminal record absolutely plays a factor into further possible charges brought against him. When somebody has a prior conviction for DUI, that can mean a couple of things, Sladen explained. It can change a case of vehicular homicide or vehicular manslaughter into murder, and here's why. Getting in an accident is usually not evil, an accident is an accident, but when somebody has been convicted of DUI, in the past, they're under a greater understanding of the dangers of drinking and driving because, they've, been through DUI classes and special alcohol education. It's important to note Sewell's personal connection to the victim, who Mosier's neighbor shared with E. News had a relationship with Chris and his family. They both know each other, Richard Roke said. The Moshers, know the Sewells. They are both long-term farmers with their roots here in Buchanan and Fayette County so that's what makes it even more difficult is that they are over-the-fence neighbors. He's just a regular family guy and a farmer, he added of the beloved grandfather. That's what he loves to do, he's a farmer. His grandkids come right behind it. He was just coming home from work. Chris' life is changed forever as well, but at least he pulled the trigger, Rope continued. Mr. Mosier was an innocent person in the whole ordeal so I really think that makes it more difficult when it happens so quickly.